Hi everyone, welcome to our presentation today about the topic Easily from SAP Data to Insight. My name is Koda Insign, I am from Turbal Software and we are happy to be today uh, part um, of the virtual event tomorrow. Uh, let me start with some information about myself. I'm responsible for pre-sales and product management at Turbal Software and I work at the company um, since 2009 and I'm in general responsible for all questions about the product, the technology and the architecture. Our agenda for today is we would start with a small introduction about our company. Then I would talk about the product, about the product architecture and the features and show you how you can get your SAP data out of your SAP source systems and to bring them into a data warehouse, for example, or into a cloud data lake and to make um, an analysis with that data and to get more insights. Let me start with an overview about the company. The company has been founded in 2004. Uh, we are based in Germany, where our headquarters is in Stuttgart. We are a software vendor specialized in the development of SAP integration. We have more than 3,000 SAP customers worldwide who are using our tools, and we work with more than 200 partners. That include technology partner on one side, for example, SAP, where we are an SAP partner, where we have a certified um, product. On the other side, we have um, partnerships with consultancy companies who, in general, are responsible for the implementation of the projects um, at, the customer's, at the customer side. We have four locations. The headquarter is in Germany, but we have um, offices in uh, US, in Seattle, for example. We have offices in uh, France, in Paris, and then in Hong Kong in, uh, and in China, where um, we are close to, to the market and to the customer and so far. Here you can see um, where you can find our customers um, globally. So as you see, um, we have customers um, in general in all continents, um, in Europe, in, in, in America, in Asia, in Australia, um, and, and in Africa. Here you would find some references. So in general, our customers come from all industries. There are no restrictions on, um, on, on specific industries or on specific SAP modules on so far. Um, we can support you um, in this case um, uh, in, 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 in your um, new scenario, um, independent of, uh, of your size and uh, of your industry. In general, uh, let me talk why um, um, why SAP customers need um, um, SAP integration and what are the customers looking for. So in general, the customer has the need uh, to get the SAP data outside of SAP, for example, for behind analytics. So that is what we will see today in our session. Um, other scenario would be to um, uh, pl uh, get planning data and consolidation into SAP, or maybe another scenario would be to get um, integration of processes of data and documents between SAP and, and, and other systems like portals, for example, SharePoint Office 365, or um, workflow engines, BPM engines, or cloud applications in general. Um, customers in general are stuck in continuous ABAP uh, coding and programming cycles and um, in general the customer are looking to have a process that is reliable, that is performant and that scale uh, to millions of records and um, that is supported for uh, all the SAP releases and all the SAP modules and that the process is secure and auditable and in general sure it must be effective, uh, cost effective um, to acquire, to implement and, and to maintain. 
Um, here you see the portfolio, that is um, all the products that we offer. Or, uh, here on the left side, um, we see our products for, in general, the BI, the business intelligence topic that include um, um, products, for example, for integration with SQL services, so SQL, for uh, SQL Server integration services, that is the ETL tool, um, um, and that is part of the SQL Server. So we offer here Exec IS for the classical um, SQL Server integration services, and we offer Exec IS for Azure, that is for the um, um, ADF, for the Azure Data uh, Factory version. We offer Extract Universal as a standalone SAP extractor. That would be the focus today that we, uh, we see. Um, you find here other products like Extract for Alteryx as our embedded SAP connector for Alteryx. We have uh, Extract RS as an SAP connector for uh, Microsoft um, SQL Server reporting services. And then we have Port Connector, our SAP connector for the Port BI platform. On the right side, you would find uh, and see our products for process integration. For example, ERP Connect services, our integration platform with SharePoint on-prem with Nintex. Uh, on-prem, we have ECS Core, that is our um, integration platform for integration with all cloud platforms and with all cloud um, tools that include, for example, Office 365, um, Nintex Workflow Cloud, that, that means the Nintex um, Cloud version, um, K2, and, and many, many other tools. Today, we would focus on Extract Universal. Um, so here you see um, Extract Universal is our SAP um, extractor, is a standalone SAP extractor that con connects to the SAP source systems, extract data from the SAP source system and bring it to different destinations. A destination can be a database or a data warehouse, it can be an BI tool or it can be um, a cloud storage. In general, our software technically should be installed and uh, it should run on a Windows environment, Windows operating system. It connects to the SAP source system through a uh, te technical RFC connection. So it connects to the SAP application server and can extract data there from different um, SAP sources and, and bring that data to the destination. Here on this slide, we see uh, the architecture and the components that are offered by our product. So at the bottom, we see the SAP source system. So it can be any SAP system that offers an RFC connectivity, um, for example, an ERP or an S4HANA system, an APW or a PW4HANA systems. All releases are supported, all modules are supported, um, no restrictions so far. Um, our product Exact Universal that would be installed on a Windows environment system um, brings um, and offers different components. As you can see here, and with all these components, you can um, extract data from all possible source objects um, on the SAP side. For example, you can use uh, our component to extract data from tables in views. All table types are supported. You can join data uh, from different tables. You can extract data using function modules and puppies. On the SAP system, the next component is to extract data from um, ERP queries. Then we have a component to extract data from ABAP reports and ABAP programs. Then we have a Delta Q component that enables you to extract data from the business content um, um, extractors and data sources. Then we have the ODP component to extract data through the ODP interface uh, from the ECC and S4HANA and PW and PW4HANA side. Then we have um, components to extract data from PW and PW4 bw 4 hana that includes, uh, for example, the info providers, the query, the BW queries that you have in OpenHub objects, OpenHub destinations and um, hierarchies, for example. Um, let's see here which um, um, destinations are supported. So the first scenario would be if you would like to build a data warehouse. So that can be um, a data warehouse on-prem or in the cloud. Here you see some um, um, uh, of the supported um, um, data warehouses, databases. For example, here you would find a SQL Server or an Oracle, a Teradata, and so far. You can also build a cloud data warehouse like Snowflake or like Amazon, um, uh, Redshift, 
umzufahren und eine Azure um, um, an, uh, Ellipse Analytics, for example, all that is supported. And here again, you see the architecture you have always at the bottom, there is a P source system. And then you have our product with all the components. You can use any component to extract the data from the right source object and bring that data into your desired um, data warehouse or the database. Now, other scenario would be um, to um, get SAP um, data uh, and to bring that into a self um, uh, service analytics tool. Here you see um, a list of, um, of, of the supported um, tools that this may include, for example, NIME, Alteryx, um, Tableau, MicroStrategy, Power BI, um, ClickView, or ClickSense. Um, a third possible um, scenario would be um, to extract data out of SAP and to bring it into cloud storage or in cloud data lake. Um, we support, for example, Amazon S3, we support um, Microsoft Azure Blob Storage and Google Cloud Storage. Um, uh, for the scenario, for example, we um, support formats, uh, file formats uh, like um, CSV, um, uh, like JSON, and uh, Parquet. These are three of possible scenarios, except in browser in general, support more scenarios. Um, today, I would um, show you two of the scenarios in the live demo. The first one would be to bring the data into a database. I would choose SQL Server uh, as a destination. And then another scenario would be to bring the data into um, cloud storage. I would use um, AWS um, S3 as an example. What we offer? Um, we offer a trial version of the product. Uh, that means you can go to our website, you download um, um, a trial version free of charge. It's valid for 30 days without any restrictions. Um, we are happy to support you during the evaluation. If you have any questions, if you need any help, um, we would be happy to support you with that. And we offer an online help with detailed um, documentation um, about the product, about the requirements, uh, the installation, the configuration, and um, best practices, how to use the product, um, and so far. So the next step for you, um, can be that you go to our website and just get your trial version directly there and, and uh, work with that. That was so far about um, the, the product. Now I would switch to a live demo and um, show you um, how you can use the product with the two scenarios that we have talked about. At first, I would here start Extract Universal Designer. So in general, you would start here with the designer. You have to connect to the server that is running in this case um, as a Windows service in the background. As I've told you, our tool run in general, uh, run only on a Windows environment system. So the designer and the service run on a Windows environment system. In my case, I have the designer and the server on the same machine. So now I connect using the designer to the um, Windows um, to the to the Execute Universal service. When I connect, I see a list of my um, existing extractions that I have created. You would in general start with a connection, a source connection. That means a connection to your SAP source system. Here you see a list of um, some connections that I have created. You see you can connect to an ERP system, to an EBW system, to an S4HANA system, to an EBW4HANA systems. All that is possible. Let's see how a connection look like. looks like. So here, for example, you need um, some information to connect to the host. You need um, the system number, the client, and so far. You need an SAP user with the right access rights. Now I can here click on test connection and see that this uh, connection is successful so far. That's fine. So now I have created my um, connection. Now uh, let's create an extraction, an extract, what I would like to extract from the SAP system. So here, as you see, I can um, select the source connection. Let me start, for example, with an ERP system. And here I have different uh, components. I would um, just take an, an easy scenario with extracting data from the SAP table. 
and that's a um, um, very straight um, scenario and easy to understand. But as you see here, we have more options with more components and can extract all, um, all source objects in SAP. Okay, let me um, call it SAP customer demo. So that is the name of my extraction. I select here this component and now I click on OK. Now I can um, search directly on my SAP system. I would like to extract data from the SAP table. That's called um, a KNA1. That is for the customer master data. Now I click on OK. Then I get the metadata of um, that extraction. So here I can select the columns that I need, for example. So let me select some columns here. As you see, I can I have here some information about the columns, for example, which column is part of, of, um, of the key and so far. Um, let me just select some other columns. Here I have the name of the columns, so I can search. Uh, I can search for the description and so far. I can get here a live preview of the data. I can just uh, get the count of rows, as you see, if I'd like to filter, that's possible. For example, here, let's um, see the country. It can be US, it can be DE or any other values. I can do that. Just go here to the work clause and um, and define here my uh, define here the word clause. In this case, let me take here that is the table name and um, that here the field name. And let's filter on, for example, US. And now again, when I click on live review, I have the filtered data here. Again, I can get here the number of rows. I see here um, how much rows do I have with this filter. Okay, if I would like to join data with another table, that's possible. I can just here click on add and now search for the other table. Let me, for example, here um, get this table here, customer master sales data, and click OK. From this table, I need some columns. Let me select here, for example, the sales organization, the distribution channel, and the division, for example. As you see now, I have this field here in the output. Um, and if I click here on live preview, I have um, I have the, the preview of the data. If I go here to the join um, tab, so I see here that in this case, um, the two tables are um, joined um, um, uh, automatically depending on the metadata that we get from SAP. But sure, we have the possibility to edit that and to change that if it is required. That's fine so far. Now we have defined a join on two tables to get um, customer uh, master data. Now let me click here on OK and go here to extract universal. And now you see here the extraction is ready and can be now um, um, triggered. Let me set the destination. In the first case, I would show you how to bring it into SQL Server. For that, if I go here to my destination, you see I can click here on Add, and here you see the list of um, the supported systems. For my scenario, I would show you a scenario to bring it into a database, um, especially into a SQL Server, for example. The other scenario would be to bring it into a cloud storage. In this case, I would um, use um, Amazon um, S3, um, as you can see here. <coughs> okay, so um, let's um, check the SQL Server, my SQL Server connection. So here um, is a connection to my SQL Server that is the database and so far the connection is successfully. That's fine. So now let's go back to my extraction, go to destination and change that here to SQL Server. That's fine. And now I have some default settings. I will use them. For example, here uh, that would be the name of my table that would be that would be created um, automatically on the SQL Server. Um, the table would be created using this command. I have here other options if I like. Um, I can also write a custom SQL um, for that. Um, the data would be inserted uh, with this command and so far. And I have further options. Um, I would use just my uh, default settings. Let's say OK. And now, as you see, the extraction is ready. I have two options to trigger that, either, uh, either calling um, an, a web API or uh, calling um, our Windows command line tool. Let me run here the command line tool. 
okay we see that's successful if i click here on refresh we see here the number of rows extracted everything is fine if i go to the lock we see here everything is fine let me now go to my sql server and show you that if i go now here to my sql server and um, check here let me refresh and uh, now we can see here the table have has been created with the right um, color names, color data type. And if we check now uh, the content, we see the content um, of our um, um, of our data. Okay, um, now let me show you how to get that into another destination. As I've told you, I would go here uh, with an AWS 3 destination. So for that, here you see the settings. I have here two options. I can either use um, user credentials or I can use an IAM role. Um, in this case, I'm using user credentials um, and I am connected um, here to a bucket. And so far where I select the bucket, the region, I can select if I need any encryption. For formats, we have different formats. You can either use CSV or Parquet. I'm using Parquet in this case. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Let me go here again and um, now change the destination from um, SQL Server to AWS Parquet. Here I'm using again um, the default settings. Let's uh, now click on OK. Let's go to my um, extension and let's run it. So now it should run. Let's check here. Let's click on a fresh. It should be here successful. Again, if I check the log, you see here I have um, the log for each um, um, extractions. If I go now here to my AWS 3, just here refresh now. Now I should have um, the parquet file. So that is the data, SAP data extracted in the parquet format. Okay, perfect. Um, that was so far from my side. Um, I hope uh, that uh, you have got some uh, useful information about uh, the SAP um, integration that we offer and we would be um, happy to um, help you and to support you um, you are welcome um, to contact us thank you and have a nice day